On Saturday, April 3rd, 2021, at 7.54 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time, the USGS posted that uh, posted the update report on the Kilauea volcano, and they state in the Halemaumau Lake observations that lake in, or that lava infusion from the west vent continues to supply the lava lake within the Halemaumau crater. The west vent is consistently infusing lava at a low rate through a crusted over channel and submerged inlet to the lake. Yesterday, April 2nd, HVO field crews continued to observe spatter being ejected occasionally from the west vent, while lava circulation and intermittent foundering of crust continue in the western portion of the lava lake, with lava oozing out sporadically in areas along the perimeter of the lake surface. The total depth of the lake is 225 meters, or 738 feet deep as of this morning, and is measured by a continuous laser rangefinder on the active western portion of the lake. Stagnant and solidified lava crust covers the eastern portion of the lake and is slow growing westward. Excuse me, is slowly growing westward. Observations from the East Rift Zone show no unusual activity noted in the region, while geo, uh, geodetic monitors indicate that the summit and upper East Rift Zone between the summit and Puoo is refilling at rates similar to those measured over the past two years and before the December 2020 eruption. SO2 and H2S emissions uh, from Puoo were below instrumental detection levels uh, when last measured on January 7th. Summit observations showed that the most recent sulfur dioxide emission rate, which was measured on April 1st, was around 1,200 tons per day. This is elevated compared to the rates in the months before the eruption, starting, uh, which started on December 20th, uh, which was less than 100 tons per day, but is lower than emission rates from the pre-2018 lava lake, which was around 5,000 tons per day. Summit tilt meters record neutral tilt over the past day, with, which means no inflationary or deflationary trends, while seismicity remains stable with elevated tremors. And that's pretty much the report for the Kilauea volcano. Now we're going to take a quick uh, look over at the report that was issued by, uh, by the USGS for Mount Aloha. And this report was issued today, Saturday, April 3rd, 2021 at 1219 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time. They continued to state that the U.S. Geological Survey's Hawaii Volcano Observatory recorded a magnitude of 4.3 located beneath Mount Aloha's south flank on Saturday, April 3rd at 11.15 a.m. This earthquake was preceded by a magnitude of 3.9 at approximately the same location on 11 at 11.02 a.m. Uh, Hawaii Standard Time. The magnitude 4.3 earthquake epicenter was 5 kilometers or 3 miles west or northwest of Pahala near Wood Valley with a depth of approximately 8 kilometers or 5 miles below sea level. The location can be found on the HVO website. Uh, the location can be found on the HVO website and of course they list a web address. Um, that's the earthquake monitoring maps which of course you see in the rotation. They go on to say that more details are available at the National Earthquake Information Center website, and of course they give that website address as well. Now, weak to light shaking with maximum intensity of uh, 4 on the modified uh, Mercalli intensity scale has been reported across the island of Hawaii. At this intensity, significant damage to structure isn't, structures is not expected. The USGS Did You Feel It service uh, received over 130 felt reports within the first hour of the earthquake, including one report from Kauai. According to HVO scientist in charge, Ken Han, the earthquake had no apparent effect on Mauna Loa or Kilauea volcanoes. At this time, we have not, or excuse me, and, and is quoted, at this time, we have not observed any changes in activity at Mauna Loa or Kilauea as a result of this earthquake. Please be aware that aftershocks are possible and may be felt. HBO continues to monitor Kilauea and other Hawaiian volcanoes for any changes. Close quote. Both the magnitude 4.3 and magnitude 3.9 earthquakes appear to be slip, uh, slip quakes along vertical faults caused by southeast motion of Mauna Loa's south flank. Today's earthquakes are significantly shallower 
are significantly shallower. <laughs> yeah, they're more shallow. <laughs> Uh, and west of the location of the ongoing seismic swarm under Pahala area that began in August of 2019. This does not represent a significant departure from the seismic activity observed over the past year and the volcano alert level for Mauna Loa remains at advisory or yellow. Other Mauna Loa monitoring data streams show no significant changes in deformation rates or patterns that would indicate increased volcanic hazard at this time. HVO continues to monitor Hawaii volcanoes for any changes. The alert level color codes remain at watch slash orange for Kilauea and at advisory slash yellow for Mauna Loa at this time. And that will basically conclude uh, the information in the update report for the Mauna Loa volcano provided by the USGS. And that'll also do it for the reading of the USGS report. I appreciate uh, y'all watching. Mahalo. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon and uh, blah, blah, blah. You all know the rest. Uh, mahalo for watching and you have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening.